If that music sounds familiar, you probably watched this movie before. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Trilogy. Oh boy. <laughs> this movie shaped- Wait a- wait a minute. What the f- These po- Bruh. What are these posters, man? They look like- What? It's like terrible. Who designed this? What does Sony's current posters look like? Let's see the old posters. Yeah, there we go. What was so wrong with this? This is perfect. <sighs> Alright, anyway, I don't have to sit here and explain why Spider-Man means so much to me. Or, or tell some long-ass story about how he helped me through depression. No! Pizza time. <laughs> not waste too much time. Uh, let's talk- let's not- uh, f fuck. Let's not waste too much time. Let's go on to what you came here for. Every successful movie like 2004 Spider-Man 2 gets merchandise. And probably one of the best merch to cash off of a superhero movie is action figures. So parents can shut up their annoying ass kids. Like me. But man, there's a fuck ton of Spider-Man figures, especially ones based off Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. But the best versions were made by this old ass company, Toy Biz. And they made these works of art for Spider-Man 2. The movie that gets every spider shill's little cocks hard. Like mine. Now, Toy Biz made a thick load of these shits. But lucky for you, I happen to own the best ones. So, let's take a look at some of these figures. One by one, just for you. To see which one you can waste your mommy's money on. First up is the Web Trap Spider-Man. This is a good pick for just your average uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure, you know? He doesn't gotta be perfect. You can't rush art. He's got pretty good articulation, and the, the sculpt is just godly. Couple that with cleanly applied paint, and you got yourself a spicy pizza pie. Unfortunately, this pizza pie is a little overcooked. What I'm saying is, he's not perfect. No, no, don't get me wrong, he's still good, alright? Unfortunately, uh, he's a little too thick. Extra uh, thick! What do I mean? Problem is, his perfect ass gets in the way of his legs from moving backwards. Plus, his ab crunch has a nice arch but little to no movement forward, which kinda sucks monkey ass, not gonna lie. Both of these problems means he can't stand up straight. Uh, but he comes with a cool web trap accessory. Let's take a look at it. I don't have it. Uh, look man, I'm, uh, no one's perfect, alright? Uh, Willem Dafoe. Here we have the very classic Magnetic Spider-Man. And as you can see, he comes with a cool flag base. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I don't have it. This guy is exactly the same as the web trap Spider-Man. No, really, they're pretty much identical. The only difference being is, of course, this guy has magnets on his hands. You may be wondering what difference magnets makes. And my friend, oh, you are surely mistaken, man. They make a world's difference, yeah! Put them on the fridge, on the side of a fire hydrant, all the way the fuck up here. Even on the side of your car, you crazy son of a bitch. And it's funny, hee <laughs> hee. But what if you don't care about having the best version of the Raimi Spider-Man? What if you just want a figure to put on your shelf? Well, lucky for you, that's where the Spin and Kick Spider-Man comes in. He's basically an even simpler version of the Web Trap Spider-Man, which is great for some collectors, you know? Not everyone has a ton of money. But... He, he's called the spin and kick spider-man, which means he's got this weird ass cut in his leg This is supposed to make him kick and stuff, but honestly it doesn't work anymore. And I'm too lazy to try and get a new one He's got this awesome neck joint that allows him to have more movement in his head. Most spider-man figures don't have this But this figure makes up for it with an absolutely sexy base. Look at this thing, man. It's based off the subway fight scene, and these holes ain't just for fucking. Trust me. It's for the sick Doc Ock tentacle. Just plug these suckers in, and you'll end up with something like this. And goddamn, that looks sick. Here's the aerial flipping Spider-Man, my personal favorite of the bunch. His hands only close to make a fist, which kinda sucks, but that just means you can make him look like he's about to grab a big pair of- Man, I just love the look of this guy. Man, look at that Chris Spidey logo, man. That 
He's got a gap on his hips, but this just allows for better movement. Really, this figure is just perfect to me. Also, unlike the Spider-Man I showed before, this guy's back is straight, which means he can stand up straight too. His accessory is a street light diorama thingy. You can move the street cone to find out that it doesn't hey, yo, fucking work. Fuck? It's supposed to spin Spidey, but he can just hang it fine. Uh, very underrated figure, would fuck again, 10 out of 10. I Now on to the very legendary Pizza Scooter Spider-Man. Oh boy, the figure everyone's going crazy after for some reason. This figure is basically the same as the aerial flipping Spider-Man, except his hips don't stick out, and he's got flipping hands instead of the clamping hands. But I changed mine to have individual figure articulation. He didn't come like that originally, so sorry about that. This is the only figure in the Spider-Man 2 line to come with a Peter Parker head. Now, while I think it looks pretty badass when it's on there, it doesn't really hold up too well to the modern legends. Uh, personally, I like the one from Spider-Man 1 better. The faces were more alright looking, and this one looks a little dead. But, but it's certainly a great choice for your one and only Spider-Man figure. But that's not where the fuck he stops here, folks. Oh no. This figure is pretty legendary for coming with a pizza scooter that shoots out actual pizzas that I lost. I guess rather than delivering pizzas like a normal person, Peter Parker would rather shoot customers in the fucking face! And now on to the figure that you're all waiting for. The Super Posable Spider-Man 2 from Spider-Man 2. With Super Posability, 40 points of articulation. This guy's pretty cool. Really, there's not much I can say, he's just super posable. It's pretty self-explanatory. He comes with a base, but really, that's all I have to say. There are plenty of reviews of this guy on YouTube already, so if you want a more in-depth look, I say watch one of those. Or maybe I'll do one in the future. All I can say is, if you can find the version with the magnetic feet, good luck finding a good price for it. However, there is another release of this guy worth mentioning. Alright, so this is the super posable Spider-Man that, that was re-released by Hasbro. Basically the exact same figure with brighter colors and a sick gargoyle base. He's pretty cool, mine's a little loose, so I have to have him crouching all the time. I'll go into detail on him like in a later video, but for now, let's continue. All right, now most of you have the same question. Where the fuck can I buy one? I get this question all the fucking time. Short answer, online. You're not gonna find these figures in store, man. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. But even online, these figures are so expensive. So much to the point where even the ones that suck go for around 50 bucks. So your best bet is really just waiting for that one golden listing to pop up for a good price. So that's pretty much the basics. I know there are other figures that I didn't talk about, but that's a video for another time.